I remember the judge saying something like, you know, biology class adjourned you know, for, for lunch. And he was, you know, smiling. And it was clear that we had the judge interested in science. It's okay, Bertie, that's, that's just outside. One of the parents may have impressed the judge and reporters. But many in Dover wondered, why is evolution taught as fact? If it's just what a, a theory, Bertie. maybe Darwinism is the prevalent theory out there today, but it is a theory. Uh, it isn't a law of science. It isn't, you know, a fact. It is a theory. We just wanted alternative views uh, talked about, too. We, we weren't saying don't talk about Darwin. Talk about Darwin. It's a, it's a theory. But that's what it is. It's not Darwin's law. It's not Darwin's fact. It's Darwin's theory. To say it's just a theory is it, really a big insult to science. <laughs> okay. In science, the yes, very good. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. I think the term theory needs to be looked at in a way that scientists consider it. A theory is, is not something you think yes, of in the middle of the night after too much coffee. You don't sleep. like this, do you, Bird? <laughs> That's an idea. I a know you don't. Science. But come here, come here. body of information is was still alive That's testing. a good bird. It probably consists of a number of different hypotheses and many different lines of evidence. Gravitation is a theory that's unlikely to be falsified, even bird. if we saw something fall up. It might make us wonder, but we try to figure out what was happening rather than immediately just dismiss gravitation. Like it. I know she hates it. Of science by themselves that can be right or wrong. But a theory is something that's been yeah. tested and tested over and over again, built on, revised, and continues to be reworked and revised. Dr. Miller, would you agree that Darwin's theory of evolution yeah. is not an yeah. absolute truth? Oh, I certainly would. For the very simple reason that no theory in science, and no theory is ever regarded as absolute truth. But we don't regard atomic theory as true. We don't regard the germ theory of disease as true. We don't regard the theory of friction as true. But we regard all of these theories as well-supported, testable explanations that provide natural explanations for natural phenomena. Should we regard Darwin's theory of evolution as tentative? But we should regard all scientific explanations as being tentative. And that includes the theory of evolution. Okay. Science is about discovering the unknown. What we don't know. I don't focus on what we know as scientists. I want to find new things to tell me about what I don't know. As the plaintiffs testified, that quest to investigate the unknown has led to the discovery of some of the strongest evidence for evolution. Darwin was convinced that species evolve over time through natural selection acting on inherited traits. But he had no idea how those traits arose or how they were passed from generation to generation. When 20th century scientists discovered the role...